If you didn't know better, you'd think the 92-year-old tug was in its old glory, still powering its way around the Thunder Bay Harbor. The last time Bob Irwin rode the James Whalen was in 1957. Back then, it was a steam-powered barge puller, as well as a dependable icebreaker. Everybody had a lot of faith in it. And uh, when there was a difficult task uh, to do as far as uh, a tug's uh, operation, they would call on the Whalen. Truth is, today the Whalen had to be powered by another tug, the Glenada. It hasn't had an engine since it was retired. The Glenada's crew strapped the two boats together to tow the Whalen from the Port Arthur shipyard to its new home at the Kamenistiqua River Park. Whalen Restoration and, President uh, Clive Dudley was one of many sentimental souls enjoying the ride. Now it's finally come to the end of its voyage and uh, we're going to put it up and uh, display and uh, it's, it's very exciting for all of us here that it's finally happening. Seems to be floating pretty good. Doing really good. You can see we've got a bit of a weight going here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's remarkable. It's not the James Whalen Restoration Project began seven years ago. It first saw the neglected tug donated to the city and brought home from Quebec in 1992. Volunteers then began cleaning and painting it. Government grants, bingos, and donations helped pay for initial renovations and a new smokestack. Early this morning, the Whalen was low cruising along on a final journey to its permanent mooring. Oh, you keep coming. You got another four feet to go forward. Uh, kind of nice to be the one to bring it up here and tie it up for its final resting place. It's been a long time coming, I guess, for all the people and the volunteers that have worked on it, so it's nice to be a part of it. My brother was the one that helped tow it up from Quebec City, so I got to finish the job off. The 108-foot-long vessel is expected to make the seldom-used Kamenistiqua River Overlook a significant tourist attraction once the restoration is completed. A floating marine museum, a museum with interpretation of uh, transportation on the river, uh, tugboats, uh, shipping, scuba, all, all sorts of, any activity with the water, it's going to be uh, displayed and interpreted. The James Whalen will now be tied up and docked here for the winter, with the main restoration work to happen. The grand unveiling should happen in June, in time for the start of Thunder Bay's tourist season. Jonathan Wilson, TBT News.